Hey WordPress developers and welcome to this video on Git for WordPress. In today's video we're going to talk about how to make a contribution to a WordPress plugin that's hosted on GitHub. And in this case we're going to make a small contribution to my friend Danny's plugin MailChimp for WordPress. And um, we're going to walk over the process fairly quickly. But don't worry because everything that we're touching on is going to be covered in more depth in the actual course. So in MailChimp for WordPress I found this file that, uh, that is missing some um, translation calls. Or oh, actually Danny found them, but he was kind enough to let me fix them so I could show you in this video. Um, so in this file, if you look here, it's just raw HTML text and it needs to be a call to the translation method instead so it can be probably localized. How this normally works is that we can fork this repository. That means that we get our own copy of the whole repository. And it's pretty easy on GitHub. I mean, GitHub makes all this so easy. GitHub is amazing, and I'm going to talk a lot about GitHub in the actual course. So, so now I have my own copy of MailChimp for WordPress and my own uh, GitHub username. So that's pretty neat. The next thing we need to do is that we need to uh, clone the repository so we have it locally, so we can actually modify the code. You could do that on GitHub as well, but we should do it locally. Now we're fetching the repository from GitHub. And now that's done, we can cd into the repository. Before we start writing any code, we should change to a, a new working branch so we kind of know what we're dealing with. Now we have a separate branch uh, for the changes we're going to make. Now let's take a look at the code. The code was the admin sidebar. Here it is. So now we're ready to write some code, and I'm just going to do that really quickly. Okay, so now the h4 tag is changed to an actually call to the translation helper method. And uh, that's all I'm going to do for now. And we're going to submit the pull request, but I told Danny not to merge it, because if you were a nice guy, you'd do all of them. So if we run git status, we can see that we have one change to the admin sidebar.php. And then if we make a diff, we can see what we actually changed. It's not too surprising, considering we only change one line. Okay, so this let's add this to the staging. And commit it. And then we can push it. And create a new translation call brand. So if we jump back to GitHub, you can see it already, even though I didn't refresh the page, it already noticed the new branch. So um, it's asking if we want to make compare the branches and make a pull request. And that's exactly what we want to do. And so this can seem a bit complicating, but it's complicated. It's pretty simple. So here's the base fork. It's the uh, Iberia code MailChimp for WordPress. And here's the fork that we are on. It's my username and then MailChimp for WordPress and we have the branch called translation calls and we want to merge it into master so let's just uh, find a better name for the pull request and just so Danny doesn't think I'm weird because I only fix one line and then if you want to here we can see the diff as well yeah make the pull request and now we're back in the Iberi code, and there's a new pull request here. If we take a look at the pull request, you can see the one I opened here. He might actually merge it. If he does, I'm going to be a contributor, and that's actually pretty nice. But uh, that's all it takes to contribute to uh, an open source project you care about. And uh, don't tell Danny I didn't test it on a local WordPress install, because then you definitely don't want to merge it. Okay, so thanks for watching and check out the Git for WordPress developers course. All the videos are going to be available for free and they're going to be at git4wp.com and the link is going to be below this video as well. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye, bye, no, 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 no.